Just did a bit of a quick update on the front yard and as you can see behind me got a bit of a uh, rain patch coming through so I thought I'd do a quick one on the backyard. Start up here. Little Kent pumpkin still powering on. Starting to get some colour to our bell or bishop's crown chilies. So I'm glad we left those guys going through winter. The garlic's looking really good. Very pleased with the size of some of these stalks. So I think we'll get at least a half decent crop of garlic from this barrel. I'm not too sure about the others. The Kang Kong here is, looks like he's going to make it through. He's got a bit of nice dark green growth there. Just a little wicking bucket. So I'm very happy about that. And the pawpaw. The pawpaw seems to be handling it alright. There's some new leaves coming down there in the crown. I've actually got a wicking uh, barrel up the side of the house. I'm going to plant this guy out in very soon. Just thought I'd give you a quick look at our confused mulberry. We have mulberry flowers on. This is our little dwarf mulberry. Look at all the fruit. He's just in a little pot down here. We're thinking about planting him out down the back after we remove, remove a lemon tree. We'll just wait and see. Over the back here, this purple flesh sweet potato really does need to be harvested. Probably could have been done a couple of months ago, so I'll have a go at doing that this week. I've been a bit busy screening horse manure as well. This stuff came a little bit too wet out of the bags. I was actually going to run over it with the lawnmower. But all I did was make a big muddy mess, so I've had to go back to the screening method. So I did a little bit while I could the other day. And yeah, I'm going to do a whole lot more. Some of this will be going to the worm farm, time to harvest half the worm farm, the bathtub one, and the rest will be going onto the garden beds as a mulch. Over here, as you can see, the two wicking beds, they're out the front yard now. I uh, have some horse manure strapped to the fish tank. Uh, it was cooking in the bag still, so I just strapped it there thinking it might heat up the fish tank. Bit of folly, you never know. Uh, the fish tank heated itself up fine with the aid of sunlight, so I didn't have to worry about that. Down here we have some more cauliflower. This stuff here I've left it in just a little bit too long and it looks like it's going to go to start going to seed. So this bed needs to be moved out the front as well. So I will be harvesting this head and this head in the next couple of days. Starting to look like he's separating as well. And this bed will also go out the front and I think we'll put the yakon, the start of our yakon crop into this one here. We have some of Muggsy Jeff's red Chinese shallots that were up the back of that bed there. They still haven't found a home um, I've, on doctor's orders or Bianca's orders. I've been told not to do any gardening for the next couple of days, but you know, I'm out here anyway. Aquaponics is booming. That's a different story. Down here I've got a whole heap of seedlings that really do need to go out. I've got some broccoli, some blue scotch curl kale, some Tuscan kale, or some people call it Tuscan cabbage, two of them and some cauliflower. So just going to try and squeeze in another cauliflower and broccoli crop. Uh, the curl and the Tuscan, one lot's going to my mother and one lot of Tuscan's going out in the yard. So we grew the Tuscan during summer last year. It went fine. Down below that I've just got three fingers of turmeric in a pot and three little yakon rhizomes down in there as well. So I harvested the yakons, got a great harvest from them. So I've got some down there in the pot just starting up already. Ah, my strawberries. These strawberries are going so well. There's some nice red ones coming up there. These are the ones I put in the clip the other day. Whoops, one's just fallen down. There we go. You start to ripen up. Looking very nice. I'm having a bit of a fungal issue with some of the strawberries. So I'm going to start spraying them with some bicarbonate of soda and water. Uh, the strawberries were actually getting powdery mildew and some of the fruit was going getting a grey mould on it. So that's a good way to knock them on the head. Down here we have some more honeypod peas, same variety as out the front, and they're actually doing all right. Uh, this bed has got a small infestation of nematodes. The snake beans that were here, by the way, they go anti-clockwise if anyone's interested up the wire. Um, the snake beans that were here they did have really bad signs of nematodes on the roots, and I think they've actually gone to this eggplant. Just looking at the way these eggplants are forming, they're not looking too healthy, so Hopefully the nematodes are attacking that and leaving these peas alone. They look to be doing half decent. Uh, down in here, Dale. Dale Calder, if you're watching, harvested a nice big one to give to Hamish Gale the other day. These are the daikons. And I'll just show you the size of what we've got down in there. He really needs to be harvested. We've got some whoppers of the daikon down in here. I'm starting to get rained on, so I better hurry up, I suppose. We'll come down here. We've got the Roy de Caboy snow peas. 
We're still harvesting dribs and drabs off of this, but I've had some interest in um, the seeds with these guys, so I'm pretty much all just leaving the majority of what's left to go to seed. They are a really fantastic snow peas. I mean, some of the pods, the size of the pods on these are massive. Chookies, chookies are going really well. Chookies made the paper the other day. I'll pop a link in the description below, um, just to the article they did on our chookies and backyard. Um, down here, the chook feeder, I've actually lowered it. So, I was going to do a chicken update, but I might as well throw it in here. Um, the girls are going fine, by the way. The chicken feeder was actually rather high. Here we go. I'm going to be eating now. Um, it was up to about that level there. And I was having problems with the, the wheat greens were falling over in the wind and the rain and not growing back up again. So I've lowered it down to about one and a half of these cells, uh, the wire cells here, and it's been doing a lot better. This stuff has been in here now for about three weeks and it's all looking fine. Hey, chicken little. So the feed is going fine. We're finding we're not getting um, spilled grain from it anymore. We've got a dove up on the roof there. Goodbye, dove. And the water feed is going fantastic. And as you can see, a little bit of apple cider vinegar in there and there's no algae in there whatsoever. So, chuggies are very happy. They're waiting for their daily weeds. Um, as you can see, I've cleaned the pavers off and the chickens have been getting the weeds. Um, yakon, yakon. Some has been planted back out. And because I'm nosy, I had a look and we have some shoots already. Little green shoots. So, hopefully we'll get just as good as harvest with the yakon this year. Uh, over here, this bed's going fine. Another cauliflower looks like it might be ready to come off soon. Uh, I'm gonna speed it up because I'm getting wet. Kale's going well. Gonna make some kale chips later today in the dehydrator. These cauliflowers, these are the 60 day ones, the ones we're really impressed with. They've started to set seed. We've had a load of bees flying all over these guys and doing their thing, native ones, um, European ones, blue banded ones. So very impressed seeing the different species of bees in the yard. Down the back here, this bed here is doing fine. We've got some volunteer black Russian tomatoes popping up. The red sorrel in here has been picked a lot more than the stuff in the beds out the front, the hay bale beds, and is producing a lot better. So this is one of the plants that just to me shows that the, the soil beds still outperform the hay bale beds. Uh, some more honeypod peas. These are bees' favourites. That's why we've got three lots of them growing. And that's the bed some of the kale's going into. So we'll have a quick look. Oh, my one lonely capsicum, if anyone, or bell pepper, if anyone's interested, is starting to get a bit of colour on it. So we'll be harvesting him soon. In here, the strawberries are doing rather well, and so is some of the garlic in here, but not all of it. Look at that for a strawberry. Isn't he impressive? Sort of looks like a bit of a heart or a butterfly. These cauliflowers are doing well. I think we're actually going to get another crop, hopefully, before it gets too hot. Over there, I'll just to show you with these beans, see? They do go anti-clockwise. So, same as a Northern Hemisphere, Brendan, and anyone else who's watching. Little market chili, which I thought, little, not quite so little, which I thought was going to die, has actually sent off a whole heap of new growth there. So we're gonna chop him off, just above there, probably above that, not there, and We'll go for year number two. I think it's year number two with this guy, so we'll see how he goes. These broccoli, I just continue to have left these guys in here for the leaves. I've been giving the leaves to their chickens. We haven't had a lot of side shoots from a few of these. Some are producing small side shoots. Um, flowers go great in salad, so if they start flowering, even though this is in the hoop house, we're letting some go to flower because they taste great in salads. This one down here, has been giving us massive side shoots. Um, I wish I knew what type it was because we've been really impressed with this one. This one out of all the broccoli is the one that's given us probably about two to three times the original head size just in side shoots. So don't throw your broccoli out once as you've picked the main head. Camera's getting very wet now. We have a broccoli head here that definitely needs to be harvested. So this is what happens when you're not allowed in the garden, you miss things, so, <laughs> sorry Bianca. <clears throat> anyway, I'll harvest that one and yeah, he'll make it to a meal in the next day or two. The rest are looking fairly good too. And over here, we have our Brussels sprouts. This is our red ribbed, I think they're called Brussels sprouts. I don't think we'll see any sprouts, but anyway. My messy lawn, we have the eggplant that was transplanted out a while ago, just to show you guys it's still powering on. And over here, or hopefully I'll do a bit of a clip on this stuff. This is our leaf compost that we made a while back. 
Uh, just look at that. <laughs> this is just out of leaf matter and horse manure. So, oh, it looks fantastic. Anyway, I better get out of the rain, I think, before I wreck my camera. So there you go, there's a bit of a look at the patch and what's going on. Hopefully, my boss will let me out and I can start moving some other beds and making some up. I've got some more IBCs to pick up soon, so hopefully there'll be a bit of movement in the front yard and we'll be able to get it all sorted by spring. Uh, the article, the article, there's a link to the article in the description below on our backyard farm, I think they called it. Uh, Steve and 80 friends of ours, they'll also get a mention in there as well. They've got a block probably twice the size of this one. They're setting up permaculture-wise, so yeah, it'd be really interesting if they did a clip down the track sometimes, 80 maybe. There's a link to our Facebook page just below if you want to suss that out. Uh, we don't have massive harvest, but most of what we pick, I throw pictures up there and different links to different articles that we like the look of. Also, too, I'm starting to post some blogs on there as well, or links to blogs, um, just on a different website I do, so you can follow the links from the Facebook page back to them. And I suppose that's pretty much all it. Uh, if you do have any comments, questions, suggestions, just drop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Always, um, you know, welcome questions and don't mind saying good day is all good. So I'll leave it there, I think, and I hope you all have a great one.